A couple of years ago, it came to the attention of the ULI leadership that just focusing on best practices of urban development is not enough to face the future kind of issues and trends fa facing cities. 2050, it's 40 years from now, and though that seems like a long time away, it's actually only two development cycles away. And I th there's the demographics, the infrastructure, it's really not that far out. And I think for any city to be successful, given the, the, the pace of change going on right now, to be a successful city, you need to plan. ULI can play a really important part in helping foster that discussion, because it's one thing to understand and build consensus around the trends. It's another one to say what those trends mean. Uh, and it's kind of a third piece of that to say, and therefore, how do we want to develop as a region? From my experience, which is primarily uh, retail development, the trends we see right now and, and what we're executing uh, reflect a population movement uh, toward uh, greater density and infill locations. And what that means is that instead of going out on the suburban fringes and building large shopping centers with big boxes, which some people still are doing, uh, the marketplace tends to now want uh, a more dense product, a product that reflects uh, people's lifestyles where they want to live, work, and play in the same neighborhood. It's really good to see a chapter of ULI growing up and be in Columbus and you know becoming more prominent. Um, we're very concerned with the with you know the uh, revitalization of the core, the urban core, because the core is the driver of the metro area. Otherwise, what you have is a growing sort of do donut, hollowing out of the middle. So that's what we're seeing, a movement back toward the core, urban infill locations, and mixed use. I think ULI is challenging cities today to be more thoughtful, to be, you know, the challenges are different today than they were 40 years ago. Uh, when my grandfather was operating 40 years ago, it was about a handshake. It was about, um, it, it was much more insular, it was much more provincial. They weren't competing 40 years ago, they weren't competing against, for jobs for people in, in New York. They weren't competing against China, they weren't competing against India. And today, believe it, we are. We're competing against global, global corporations, we're clean, competing against um, those economies and we have to be our best. How we handle that on a go-forward basis and what you know, Columbus 2050 I think is trying to accomplish is help us come to grips with the fact that we have global competition, global opportunity, as well as massive immediate global flows of capital. I mean the market punishes you immediately if you, if you slip up or are not nimble enough. So, so I think you know, globalization it could be a bad thing for Ohio if we don't, don't plan for it. Uh, it's a very good thing if we plan for it adequately. I think the important part of this uh, initiative is communities like Columbus and Central Ohio coming together and talking about what it means to them. Because the situation here and the issues and the criteria and the challenges are unique to this region. And so that conversation in and of itself is a form of research and at ULI what we'll be doing is elevating this as this conversation proceeds, elevating it, comparing it to other conversations in Vancouver, for instance, Boston, North Texas. What does this all mean? Are, what are the commonalities? What are the differences? And what does that mean for urban investment? ULI is the perfect organization to be doing this. You know, ULI is the, um, it has the integrity, it is the, it is the go-to place for information, for research, um, it is totally unbiased. It is, um, you know, it's, it is think global but act local, and that's what this is really all about. It's, um, it is a global organization. It's got district councils all around the world, but it, you know, real estate is really about acting local. It's about how it affects. How does Columbus be the city that it has to be in 2050? And so you can take the resources of an international organization and bring it down, spot down to Columbus to be the best city that it has to be.